Hey everyone, it's Shelly. Today we are talking about an app called Touch Retouch. Load it up, load a picture, and I have one of me in Greece, and in the picture I've got this guy sitting right in the background and I don't want him there. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to the toolbar and hit quick repair, and then I'm going to hit a quick brush, and you can pinch and zoom in on the photo, and then just start brushing with your fingertip, and it will turn green, and then you can hit remove. And I like to work in small sections so that you can go back if you've made mistakes. At the top, you'll see the little back arrow, and you can hit that. And you can go forward if you've gone back too far. You can also see before and after what it looks like. So I'm going to go all the way backwards, go back to my toolbar, and this time I'm going to hit object removal. You can either do a lasso or a brush. I'm going to do the brush again and just swipe on the person that I want removed. And you're going to see it's not always perfect. It's trying to do its best to interpolate what it thinks should be in the background. So sometimes you'll have to go over it a few times to have it fill in some of the areas that it may have missed the first time. And of course, you have to think this is in the background, so it may not be uh, needing to be the most accurate. Next, we're going to go over and we'll work on this couple that is enjoying their nice holiday in Greece. And I'm going to take them out as well because I want just myself in the picture to make it look like I was there at the Parthenon by myself, which I was not. There were tons of tourists around, so okay, no more hand-holding for them. Next, I'm going to work on her with her big fancy hat, and we're going to go ahead and just wipe that away with the finger as well, and take out the rest of her body there, and you're going to see as I zoom out that the steps look pretty clear and doesn't look like she's there in the picture anymore either of them, so which is awesome. Now we're going to scroll over to the other side. We're going to see we've got this kid with a purple hat, we don't need him in the picture either. We're just going to go ahead and keep finger swiping him. You're going to see the green where I'm doing that in steps. And then I'm just going to keep erasing. And then I do see that this person here is right on my elbow. And I'm going to go ahead and start taking out some of these swipes. You're going to see, though, that it gets a little wonky and it's not the best. So after a while, I decide that as long as it's fairly close to the elbow, I'm just going to let it slide. And then here's this girl in this white dress. Again, I don't need her in my photo. I'm going to go ahead and swipe her and that one looks a lot better than some of the others. So that I'm pretty pleased with, and then the picture's looking pretty good now. So it's good to zoom in and out, and then kind of give yourself a pan from left to right, and see if there's any big areas that kind of catch your eye. The left side is looking pretty good. Again, that's where the couple was, and then if you look on the right-hand side, you're gonna see there's no more of the kid and anything, but do you see that right there? There's someone out hanging in my elbow. And this is going to be kind of funny because I try and get in there and you're going to see me struggle with this a lot. I tried really, really hard to get rid of her and then I would bring her back because it just wasn't working with my hair and it is not able to know in my elbow space exactly what it should look like. So there you see like my hand and ring coming back because it's interpolating it incorrectly. And at the end I thought, you know what, she's so far back and zoomed out that I just don't think it's even worth taking the time to try and make this correct. So in the end I just decided to let her hang out and just hang out in the elbow area. So if you go back and look at the photo, she's just going to be there and I'm going to be fine with it and life is going to move on. All right, I'm going to take one last pan here, and then you're going to see you can export the photo from the top, and then you can decide if you want to save it to Instagram or save a copy or take it to any social media site. And I decided for myself I was just going to go ahead and save it to my phone as a high-quality JPEG. And then I'm going to go see it in the Photos app, and you're going to see that when you scan on the right and left, I don't see the kid, I don't see the couple, I don't see the guy that was sitting next to me on the rock. Is it perfect? No, but is it a lot better? Is it the picture I wish I had posted on Instagram? Yes. So that's a quick tutorial on Touch Retouch. I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye!